Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy it all. Come watch me stream. Yeah. Oh, I hate traffic. Oh my god. I'm so sorry to that man, but he really looks two seconds away from his expiration date. Hey everybody, what's up if you're new to my channel? My name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. Dysfunction indeed, because we're doing part two of fast food french fry taste test. And I'm surprised, Chris, this is too long. What I was gonna say is I'm surprised I said the title of this video so fluently on my first try. A few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, maybe two months ago, I don't really even remember 10 minutes ago, I made a video where I took one of my greatest passions in life, fried potatoes, and I went to see which drive through fast food chains had the best french fries. Now for some reason, I guess I didn't take into account um, me feeling like absolute garbage. So I didn't go to all of the places I wanted to, but I said I would do a part two. So yes, I am a man of my word. I have the exact same list from that video and I'm hitting all of the other places that y'all recommended that I should go. Again, I do want to say that this is drive through only. I don't want to go in anywhere so that eliminates places like Shake Shack or Five Guys or... <laughs> if you haven't seen part one of this, I highly recommend going and watching that and then coming back to watch this. Or I mean, or you can just watch that one after. Or you don't even have to fucking watch it. I don't care. I still have the scores I gave all the places in part one on my phone and I will be adding today's to that list to have <laughs> a full comprehensive french fry list. If there are places I miss though, please leave them down below because maybe this will turn into part three. Fried potatoes, the gift that keeps on giving. Unless it's life, which in that case it's definitely very much taking that away from me. However, before we go to location number one, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Surfshark VPN. Oh shit, I needed to take that exit. Now, if you haven't seen the videos where we have worked together before, Surfshark VPN is basically an app or a browser extension that lets you place your phone or laptop anywhere in the world and lets you access the internet as if you were in that country. This obviously doesn't carry as much weight while we're in a pandemic, but a huge reason I love it is it adds such an extra layer of security to photos, videos, any data on your phone, especially on public Wi-Fi where hackers are just running rampant. Now, I've obviously talked about this one before and in the pandemic, this has been clutch. If you're like me and are bored of how stale US Netflix feels, guess what? There's like 15 other countries Netflix out there. With Surfshark, you can not only access blocked websites and geo-restricted content, but also it is the only VPN service that allows unlimited devices on one account. And like also Loki Flex that they're the only ones who do this. Now, if any of this sounds like something you want in on, go down below and use the link and use code CLEMENTS to get 83% off plus three free months. Surfshark does offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you're not happy, guess what? Get your money back. It's like nothing ever happened. Again, I want to thank Surfshark VPN for continuously supporting this channel and hooking it up for you guys. Oh my god, speaking of hooking it up, uh, can someone hook me up to life support? So today's list, like I said, is where we left off last time. I know how I feel about Arby's fries, and uh, that is the first place we are going. But the rest, I don't necessarily remember, although Popeyes... Okay. <laughs> Not me, Loki, excited to have five different orders of french fries today. I just recently ordered this sweater from the women's section of an online store, and I didn't know it would be so cropped, which sounds like a nightmare, unless you're filming a video that's tits up, and in this case, you would never fucking know. Ow, oh my god. Woo, wow, I forgot that I tripped over my dog and my hands are <laughs> scabbing. Oh my God, I don't know what street I'm on. It's like the Rodeo Drive of fast food. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God. Three of the five locations on this list are all next to each other. Thank you, God. Okay, oh my God, wow. I was gonna say we're pulling into Arby's, but we're like, in fact, coming in so fucking hot. Oh my God, do I get the beef and cheddar sandwich? <gasps> that shit made me bust as a fuck. Oh my god, I'm on a curb. Could I get um, a small curly fry? I'm sorry, a snack curly fry. And then can I get a beef and cheddar, please? Ugh. Guys, okay, forgive me. I had to get a beef and cheddar. It has been like years. I will say McDonald's has got to be shaking right now with Arby's curly fries about to enter this race. Once again, I'm gonna emphasize everybody, please double mask, not only in general if you're in public, but also at drive-thrus. I know it's hard to believe, but these are people too. Okay, low key, fire outfit. Okay, Chris, high key, focus on driving. No big deal, just Clorox wiping my debit card. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks so much. All right, bitches, bag secured. Oh my God, it smells like good 
is an understatement. We are here with the first contender of the day. I say as if this is a real person. These are Arby's fries. Now, I will say that these are curly fries. I could have gotten at Carl's Jr. and probably other places, but these are the only French fry option. I believe that was there. I tried to look for normal ones. Oh my God, these are really warm. Here we go. Oh, ah, uh, oh. Okay, here's the tea. These have the best crunch of any french fry I have tried in this. These definitely are a different flavor than McDonald's, which I ranked as like the best of the best in the last video. These are just so good. Oh my God, this is so fucking good. <laughs> I'm like literally not talking because I just want to enjoy them. Oh, how do I rank these? These have such a good crunch, yet such a nice softness. I guess I'll have to try another one to find out. <sighs> They're very hot. Like McDonald's, I am giving Arby's a 10. I think that these curly fries are heaven. Like if I could eat just those, only those, I would be happy. I would really, really, I'd really be happy. All right, Arby's curly fries, they get a 10. All right, the next place we're going is, like honestly, I can see the sign from here. So um, I'll see you there. I literally don't know why I turned off the camera. It was like 10 feet away from the Arby's, but we are at KFC. Hi, can I just get a small fry, please? I don't think I've ever been to KFC, so I'm excited to, oh my God, have I never been to KFC? Thanks so much. You too. All right, we have KFC. Wow, the vibes of the KFC, weird. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. These look stunning. Like, oh my God, she is gorgeous. What in the flavorful fuck? These fries? Like, I don't even know what to say. They're such... Today's french fry testing has been incredible. These KFC fries have an insane crunch. They are so soft still. And they have the flavor of, like, every other french fry that I'm tasting. Like, combined. I like this thickness of fry, too. It's not too skinny, but it's not super fat. I was not expecting this. Like I said, I don't know when the last time, if ever, I've been to KFC. I would absolutely come back just for these fries. I'm giving these fries, like, a 9.5. If I hadn't already, like, shat my pants on KFC, camera and put it on the internet, I would feel slightly embarrassed, I guess, that I'm speechless over french fries. But I'm speechless over french fries! I was just not expecting this when Kentucky Fried Chicken said secret recipe fries. This little white man was not fucking around. Okay, yeah, these are getting a 9.5. These are fucked up. Now that I've been almost moved to tears over KFC french fries, we're gonna go to the next place, which I don't even remember what it is because I'm just still thinking about how I want to finish off those fries. Okay, are we already hitting the hard to breathe phase? Sadly, I think so. Ooh, baby! Wow, I am not gonna be walking Booger today. Booger is gonna be walking me. All right, so I just pulled into Jack in the Box. Here we go. Hi, could I just get um, a small French fry, please? You guys have blue Powerade? Uh, no, blue, that's a great. When I first moved to LA, Jack in the Box, when I was stoned, was like my bitch. So I know that these fries are good, I just don't really remember the fleet. Okay, yeah. Thanks so much. Have a good one. So I have the order from Jack in the Box. Okay, whoa, person, you are backing out very fast. Oh my god, there's a Domino's here? Thank god I don't live anywhere near those. My name is Chris and I'm going into cardiac arrest. I already feel just so ill. <laughs> and I've got the fry sweats. Now I'm probably gonna get a lot of flack for this, but Jack in the Box had both seasoned curly fries and normal french fries. I got the normal french fries because if that option was available, that's what I'm testing in here. Arby's, of course, only had curly fries, so that's why I got those. Are people gonna be mad? Probably. It's a fucking french fry fast food taste test. Why are your expectations so high? Chris, you're yelling to a camera. Oh my god, these don't look anything like I remember. Holy shit, they're hot as balls! Oh my god, these look gorgeous. Oh my god, these look stunning, and oh my god, these are not all over my car, that is surprising. These are the Jack in the Box french fries. They are giving me big McDonald's vibes, which are giving me an even bigger boner. All right, here we go. Oh my God, to so the people who said that these Jack in the Box fries were the best, are you okay? These Jack in the Box fries are what I imagine In-N-Out fries tasting like if In-N-Out fries weren't made of cardboard. I will say the Jack in the Box fries like consistency slash crunch was nice. It was like very similar to McDonald's in that regard. But overall, they were just so bland. In my last video, I think I gave the In-N-Out fries like a two. So with that in mind, I'd probably give these Jack in the Box fries like a five or a six? I'm giving Jack in the Box fries a five and a half. They're just very middle of the fucking road. Like, do I have COVID or do these fries just taste like nothing? I hope it's the fucking second. Anyways, Jack in the Box, I'm giving you a 5.5 for your fries. On to... 
I was kind of thinking the hospital with how horribly I'm feeling, but no, we're going to the next place. We are at the next location, which is Popeyes. Bow, bow, bow. I've had Popeyes fries before. Excuse me, I'm having a little bit of a carbohydrate coma. Good, uh, hello. Could I get a small fry, please? Wow, I am proud of myself for not getting a biscuit. All right, boys, let's mask up. <laughs> Wow, I never ask for this anymore, but if you want to just fucking flick that thumb up button on this video, I don't know what it does anymore, but fuck. All right, I have parked the car. We have Popeye's french fries. This is what they look like. Yep, and then, then this is what I look like, unfortunately. All right, here we go. Ooh. Okay, wait. These low-key taste like biscuits and french fries had a baby. Wait, that's just what my fat ass needed. Once again, these have such a nice crunch with still softness, which I really enjoy. These not only are a little salty, but they have a little bit of black pepper on them. Like I said, I've had these before, but I do not remember them tasting like this. Wow, these are pretty fire. I'm gonna give these a 9. I really like these, but I'd still probably want a McDonald's. You know what? No, I'm gonna give these a 9.5. These are more than a 9, but they're not quite a 10. I'm not a nine, not yet a 10. It's really going downhill for me. All right guys, we have one more fast food destination for this video and you guys will find out what it is when we get there. And then we will have, oh my God, like 11 fast food places I've tried the french fries from. That feels, yeah, this feels like more research than I literally ever did in any amount of schooling I've been through. Mom, just kidding. Oh my god, I feel like fucking shit. We have made it to our final place of the day. Somehow, why is there such a long line for this? Oh, Lord, just take me now. So we're at Burger King, and this is the 11th and final fast food place that we are trying french fries from. I definitely have memories as a kid going to Burger King, but I want to say it was like less than five times. Okay, based off of their menu pictures, these fries don't look great. Hi, can I get a small fry and uh, triple bypass surgery, please? Thank you. Oh my God, what is this guy in front of me ordering? Thank God I'm not doing that tag where I order what the person in front of me ordered. Jesus, I'd be in debt. More debt than I already am from school. Thanks, NYU. Hi, welcome to Waking. How can I help you? Hi, can I just get a small fry, please? God, I don't think I could sound more miserable to be. <laughs> All right, the last and final bag has been secured. Oh my God, these just get hotter and hotter. This is what they look like. These are definitely the most, I would say, Caucasian looking fries. They are just unseasoned. I do like the size. I think they'll have a nice crunch. Let's find out. It's not that these are ill because obviously it's a fried potato, but after having french fries from now 11 places, these are just so boring. Like at least with In-N-Out, I was like, these suck. Sure, I could eat the whole thing of this, but would I have enjoyed it? No. The best thing that can happen to a potato God, I'm so sorry to the potato community. I don't know, I don't understand why a lot of people said Burger King had the best fries. I'm gonna give these a four. I just don't think they're that great. Burger King, more like Burger Court Jester, bitch. The fuck? So with that being said, I have a full list from parts one and two of all 11 fast food places that I have tried, and this is how I scored them. In first place, with a perfect 10, we have Arby's and McDonald's. Tied for second, we have KFC and Popeye's with a 9.5. In third place, we have Carl's Jr. with a 9. Next, Wendy's and Chick-fil-A got an 8. After that is Taco Bell with a 6.5, then Jack in the Box with a 5.5, then Burger King with a four and in and out ends the list with a two. I think it goes without saying that this is just my opinion. That's my opinion! I'm obviously no potato expert, although I mean like, okay, I would consider myself to be pretty close to it. Tell me what you think of my list. Why is there such a glare coming off of this car? Let me know what you think of my rankings and if your favorite is my favorite and if your least favorite is my least favorite. I'm definitely curious to see what everybody thinks of this final roundup. But um, yeah, I've got a toilet to break, so I'll see you guys later. Love ya.